Hey guys, um, thank you for stopping by my video. Today I will be doing a kind of whisper show and tell video. Um, you can see in front of me I've laid out a couple of items that I've been really liking. Well, it's more than a couple of items, but um, these are the items that I really like. and. It ranges from food, to items, to just random things. So, um, let's jump right in. So the first item is a food item. And I've been really liking this Fisherman's Friend lozenges lately. This is in the flavor Mandarin and Ginger. So it's a bit sweet from the mandarin and yet it's got that punch with the ginger. I like it because I like to pop one up after meals just to get rid of whatever flavor or lingering scent that may be from my food. I got the, the one in the small pack so it's only 10 lozenges but it's easy to throw in my bag, in my purse carry around with me everywhere I go. Um, I would have gotten the normal pack but where I was at they didn't sell the the normal one. They only had this so it was good enough for me anyway. This is I think my second second or third pack of this if that's how much I like this. Um, I switch between flavors I usually get either this or the apple and cinnamon. I really like the apple and cinnamon one too. Um, that is in the green and peach stripes. Um, I don't know where else you can get this because um, I don't know if they sell them everywhere in the US and the UK or not. But if you can get your hands on any one of these, please. Please do, it's amazing, it's my favorite. Now the next item is a lip balm. This is the Vaseline um, Petroleum Jelly um, Lip Balm in Rose Lips with the flavor of rose and almond oil. It's You've seen this before in my makeup video, I think. My most used makeup video. And I, I absolutely love this. This is my second tub of it. So just let me try getting open. There you go. It's really smooth and really creamy. It gives your lips like a slight tint. But it's not like wearing a lip balm. I mean, it's not like wearing a lipstick or a um, or lip gloss. It's just smooth. It smells amazing, and it will last you forever. Now the next item is well, it's a couple of items in one. This is my manicure set. And I've had this forever. The reason that I'm showing this in this video is because I, I just absolutely love this. It's got um, a little scissors for you to trim the hairs so on your brow. It's got the nail file. It's got a little kind of like a Victoria Knox. It's just got a couple of blades, a nail file, um, it's got a bottle opener, and it's got a little small blade here. So it's really, really handy to throw this in my purse when I want to. It's also got your main clips, your main um, 
nail clipper and it's got a little cuticle cutter it's got a, a cuticle pressure and a pair of tweezers which I really like this is probably my I've had this for about um, I want to say when I was 16 or 17 I think 16 so it's been about almost 10 years just just about to hit 10 years you can tell that it's really old because it's stained and it's got nail polish all over it and one of my mom's friends gave it to me for my birthday when I was 16 I think I can't remember what occasion she gave it to me but I've had it since and I've used it almost every time I do my nails. So the next item is a brush. And this is a KH Best Bristles brush. I love it because it's a huge petal brush as you can see. It's about the size of my palm huge and it really gets out the tangles in your hair if you are someone who has long hair like me I have very long wavy dark hair so this is perfect to just comb out and brush out all the knots also it's better to use a thick bristled large petal brush because it doesn't damage your hair as much. It has a very gentle pull on your scalp so it massages your scalp at the same time. As you can see the bristles are really soft and I just I love to use this. I haven't had this very long I would say Probably about a year now, maybe six months to a year. I mean, in comparison to this, I mean, six months is almost nothing when I've had this for about like, 10 years. I like it too because it gives a really nice tapping sound. And every time I use this brush, I tell myself that I'll do a video with it because the tapping sounds is quite delicious. The next item is also nail related. Oops, you can see my reflection in there. Um, this is the Sally Hansen Mega Shine Top Coat. And I only recently got this, but I've used it a couple of times. And I really like it because it gives my nails a really nice sheen and shine. Um, I would say it's comparable to the Stitch Feet Top Coat. For those of you who don't know, Sitch Feet is one of the, um, I wouldn't say best, but leading top coats in the nail polish um, industry. I guess that's the word I'm looking for. So the Sally Hansen Mega Shine is just as good. I got this at a discount because it's, I think it was $12. But it came in a pack of two and it was limited time only so I decided to get it because I know Sally Hansen is a good brand and I do not regret my decision the next item I have been loving it is my rose gold watch and this is from Cotton On and Cotton On 
is a Australian clothing store um, kind of like an American apparel but the Australian version of it it's got a lot of basics and simple stuff and this is one of them um, and it was really cheap I think it was $25 I, I absolutely love rose gold I've got a pair of rose gold earrings that I've worn for years now and I really wanted a rose gold watch but the ones I saw and the ones that I have my sight on um, is the Michael Kors rose gold watch with diamonds along the side and I know it sounds fancy it even costs fancy, so when I saw this cheap alternative, I knew I had to get, I had to get one. Yes, it is 11:30 right now. <laughs> I love chains with metal straps like this. I don't really like watches with leather straps or plastic straps. I like them to be metal with um, this kind of detailing. I don't really know what you call this detailing. And with the clasp. Considering the price of this watch, it's quite sturdy and I think it's a good deal. I've had it for about, I would say, about six months now. The next favorite of mine is my mala beads or prayer beads. And it looks like this. It's got a hundred and eight beads on them, excluding the, the ones at the bottom. I really like my mala beads because I use them a lot for meditation and this is a new one that I got recently because the old mala beads that I had I left them in a friend's car and they couldn't find it after that so I had to go get a new one and I got this at the Little India like a little India town where I stayed. Um, this is used very much in Buddhism and Hinduism. Uh, no, I am neither. I am not Buddhist, nor am I Hindu. And I know in my previous video, the one I did with the page turning, there was a book I used called The Teachings of Buddha. I just am very into spiritualism and I like to spend my time learning about different cultures and I'm currently in the middle of the book trying to expand my horizons. Um, the reason that the Mala Beats has got 109 beats, 108, sorry, is because the number is 108 has to add up to number 9 because number 9 is a very sacred number to the Buddhists and the Hindus as well so what I'll do is I'll hold them in my hands like this starting from the first beat and I'll say a little affirmation or chant and then I'll go on to the next one and on to the next one and I will continue doing that until I've completed the entire round of beats it helps me focus when I do my meditation and I think since I started meditating I've been a, a way more calm person I was not as hot-headed or 
as short tempered as I was when I was a teenager, but maybe it's just me that could have also just come with age. The next item that I've been absolutely loving is this body lotion by Cotswold Lavender and I absolutely love 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 this body lotion um, it's $12 as you can see and it's quite expensive for a little 6 ounce bottle 7 ounces sorry and it, it is expensive they have a whole range of products that are equally expensive they've got a body scrub like a sea salt scrub, lavender sea salt scrub that I've been eyeing but that cost about $19 and I don't want to spend $19 on a body scrub so I thought I'd stick to this for now the reason I like it so much is because they really do put lavender in this or, or at least it smells like they really do put lavender it says here that there's no artificial fragrances, it's not tested on animals, and it is paraben free. And I always try to look for paraben free products because paraben is a chemical that can cause hormonal imbalances in women, or men, but it mostly affects women. Not tested on animals because I just I just don't think, well, I mean, would you like someone to test something in you and use you as a guinea pig? And no artificial fragrances, which I believe them because it really does smell like they don't put a lot of artificial flavor in this. It smells beautiful. It smells like actual lavender. Because, um, through my research, I have found that a lot of companies, instead of using actual lavender to create that really full, wholesome scent, they use this chemically, laboratory produced chemical called lavendin, which is what gives a lot of lavender, which is what gives um, lavender its, its smell. So what companies would do is engineer lavender and put it in um, like body lotions and all to make it smell like lavender all that sickly sweet lavender smell that you're familiar with that is most of the time lavender and the difference between lavender and lavender is that lavender is toxic to the skin um, and it can cause rash or burn over a long period of time and I just don't think I want to be putting something so toxic and artificial on my skin so I really like this it's got a very weird consistency it's more like a body milk than a body lotion because it's so thin and watery but it's good if you're living in a, more, a warmer climate or if it's good for summer. It dries smooth, it doesn't leave your skin greasy or anything and that's why I really like it. The next item is a candle. And this is just a normal candle from IKEA. I picked this up uh, I think two or three days ago and I'm really liking this because of the color. I have a few candles in this color and I've just taken to burning them. They don't really have a, a scent to it so I would drip some essential oil in down the middle so when it burns it gives off the flavor that I want it to give off. That way I can change up the flavors and smells but still have the look of the pretty blue candle I like this color very much because it reminds me of the Tiffany's color. 
Well, I'm just kidding. I I just really like the color blue. Especially this kind of blue. I just think it's very calming. And well, blue is is the color of your communication chakra, which is your throat chakra. And ever since when this candle I've been but not burn it, ever since having this candles around my room I've been toying with the idea of doing a whisper video which is what you're watching now <laughs> and finally the last item is a tea and this is the old grey tea I have I have really liked old grey tea before but over the years I've stopped drinking it because I like to drink tea at night before I sleep and in the mornings when I wake up and the downside to that is that when I drink it before I go to bed I spend the whole night waking up because I need to pee because as we all know, tea is diuretic and when I drink it in the morning um, on my commute to work, I need to pee too and also I don't like to put too much caffeine in my body I recently gave up smoking and in the time that I gave up smoking I decided to give it caffeine as well, which means no coffee, no Starbucks, no nicotine, and because I stopped drinking caffeine, I didn't need to be taking melatonin to sleep, so I just started living a more natural life, and one of the things one of the downsides to that was that I didn't get to drink tea anymore. But recently I've just been needing comfort because I had a road accident recently and you know when you're sick and when you're down in bed and you just want something warm and something familiar. So I decided to get um, some all grey tea. And all grey tea is basically just black tea infused in oil of bergamot. And bergamot is in the family tree of orange, of oranges. And I just really like all grey. And this is the stemmed with ethical tea logo. So kind of like fair trade chocolate. This is fair trade as well. So thank you so much guys for watching my video um, because this is my first proper whisper show and tell type video um, feel free to leave any constructive criticism in the comments below I would love to read your comments thank you very much for the support I've had a lot of views on my videos more so than I thought I would have so I'm really happy for that um, and I will continue to post more videos I do take requests so if you do have any requests feel free to leave them in the comment section um, and I will read them and hopefully I'll be able to create something for you that you like so thank you very much guys Thank you guys for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.